Fish box sketcher. Thermos that hat. Controller not plugged in right now. Thermos that piece can cool. So this be on the outside, hung up against the wall so that you can see it. These two plugged in, that's the 12 volt, 5 volt, 5 volt powers, uh, 3 fans, it's 1 fan, 2 fans, and then 12 volt powers the Peltier units, or the Peltier cooling supply in there. Uh, it's sandwiched in between the two. Uh, Aluminum, the heat sinks, and fans. But yeah, so it's uh, just zip tied to make a nice little sandwich. But uh, yeah, that's where this two wires go to in between that Peltier unit. So it's aluminum block, aluminum block, Peltier unit, fan, fan, and then little mini blower fan to blow in fresh air to kick out some of that CO2 because neither of these really pull in uh, fresh air. This, uh, this one right here will pull in a little bit of fresh air with that cold air since this aluminum block goes all the way through. This aluminum block feeds through, so it's gonna pull in a little bit of fresh air when it kicks on. It'll pull in a little fresh air through here. And yeah, that's the uh, incubation box. Toss on the lid real quick, and it's all ready to go. And I uh, just gotta throw in a little pass piece to cut that hole down there. I'm probably throwing a. Oh no, a little piece of cloth down there. Probably a little square piece of this down there. Cover that up to go along with this. This way when this is forcing, uh, or when this is going, it's blowing out the CO2. Since CO2's heavier than air, I put that on the bottom so that it blows the CO2 out to get the back to colonize a little faster. So that this way it's blowing in fresh oxygen. Take it on this side so this way it's blowing in air. And we'll be blowing out the CO2 from the bags. And then I'll just stack all the bags upwards and hopefully this will work. I just gotta get some uh, some grates or something to put over these. These are our open face. And as you can see me testing it, when they were on I just barely touched it and took off uh, one of the fan blades. I did it on this one too, son of a bitch. So at some point I'll be buying some new fans and replacing those. It's all good. I'll be replacing the fans and probably be putting a, a stronger power block on here. So I think this was only like five. So like five volts with uh, like a point seven amps or something like that. So yeah, this one's a 12 volt with a 5 amps, so that works for powering the Peltier cooling unit. But yeah, this is my uh, little Watch incubation box for my mushrooms. It's in a little uh, cooling unit power supply, so it controls all the cooling parts. That way, this will control all the fans and stuff. Yes, yeah, Cali boy in the desert, Edge of the Gardener, peace.